So transficial separation is extremely rare injury and mostly occurs under the age of two years and commonly it presents in the neonate and it can be misdiagnosed as septic arthritis or even a birth injury. So it is very commonly missed and it is very similar to supracondylar fracture. So usually the presentation would be in such a way that the radius and the ulna are translocated uh, medially uh, so that there is a it's almost like a dislocation, but there is a large unossified physial fragment there. So this is a case of a newborn presented like this. The treating surgeon reassured the parents, gave the child a sling, and it went on to heal. And they presented uh, at this stage to me. So this is a fully healed transficial separation. They presented at about four years of age with this deformity. So the range of motion was about 10 degrees short of uh, full extension and uh, about 100 degrees of uh, further If you take an x-ray, you can see that there is a very uh, steep slope where the trochlea is. Trochlea itself is unossified and there is a large anterior spur here which is blocking the flexion beyond 100 degrees. So first thing that occurred to me was whether there is an AVN of the trochlea. So I waited for the deformity to worsen, waited almost two years, but there was the no improvement in the range of motion, no worsening of the cubitus uh, virus also. So finally we bite the bullet, did an osteotomy and uh, got back the carrying angle. And you can see here, even though we did take a CT scan, we didn't uh, find any AVN here, but you can see that there is a slight fishtail deformity which is developing here. And on surgery on exposure, this, this fragment anteriorly could not be excised at all. Part of it we did excise but it was so large that uh, we uh, feared that the K wire hold would be uh, compromised. So uh, we excised only partially. On table we got good range of motion, it has healed very well. but. This spur over the period of 3-4 months grew larger and has formed a large bump here. It still allows about 120 degree flexion. He has got full extension and there is a fishtail deformity here. So even though we hear the transficial separations are generally benign, a closed, disc a closed uh, reduction is okay. Sometimes people advise no reduction, sometimes even K-wire and closed reduction with arthrogram. This is a case that illustrates that if you totally neglect it, it can go on to a cubitus virus. Thank you.